when a strong-willed princess refuses to wed the cruel sociopath, she is kidnapped and locked in a remote tower of her father's castle. With her vindictive suitor intent on taking her father's throne, the princess must save the kingdom. First of all, this movie is all about the action. Unfortunately, it's the only thing that it cares about and practically forgets about anything else. This action fantasy falls short on plot, character, and personality. It's a woefully generic beat-em-up that confuses its simple premise for a sufficient plot and mistakes its girl-boss attitude for a personality. The idea of a simple premise is not exactly clever enough to justify the film's almost complete absence of detail or texture. The dialogue, lack of character development beyond respective archetypes, and subdued main character come together to make a rather forgettable film. The movie starts in the middle of the antagonist coup, so we left to glean backstory from flashbacks and on-the-nose expository dialogue. The lack of plot is what kills the movie as nothing really happens. The main character, which is the princess, has to fight her way out of this place, so at every turn, there are evil henchmen she has to punch, kick, stab, sword fight with, and brutally slay. And that's it. That's the movie. It only gives you a scenario in which the main character fights a succession of generic bad guys in a room, then in a stairwell, then in a corridor, and so on. It's basically the same stuff you've already seen, repeated over and over and over again. If she does get a moment to talk to her enemies, it's an attempt to be witty that generally falls flat. The movie doesn't just feature a girl fighter as its protagonist. The fact that she can fight and she's also a girl is more or less the backbone of the plot. This protagonist is made of cardboard and acts accordingly. The character doesn't even have a name. In the credits, she's just called the princess. We're supposed to care about this princess, but we learn absolutely nothing about her. Very little about her personality is revealed. She's merely a killing machine. The main antagonist character is no better. He got stood up at the altar and lost his chance at the throne, and that's it. The film never fills in these gaps or places these characters into a story that deepens our knowledge of who they are and why they behave the way they do. One-dimensional people in a repetitive scenario is surely the key to boredom. The action is also a letdown. Action sequences in this movie fail to hammer down the technical aspects, creating a mantra that's both cheap and unfulfilling. The fight scenes fall flat as they are far too slow and repetitive for the movie to get away with having so little else to offer. The lack of decent soundtrack and the use of choppy visual effects greatly hinders the overall impact as well. In the end, this movie is a disappointment. It's not really worth your time and money. Unless you have nothing else to watch, we do not recommend this movie at all.